Hello, Icelanders Wanderer here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 Horizon. So I've just installed Horizon 1.9.1. Uh, I'm told that there are options now in the new Horizon to be able to turn off the harvesting stuff. So I'm gonna see if I can find that real quick here. It might be in a settings here. That's not right. Uh, let me look around a bit here and I'll get back to you in a second. Right, so in the uh, global options here, I believe that's where we're going to find that. Let's uh, take a look here. And this should be under, I would say, gameplay options? Oh no, utility and salvaging options right here should be it. Ah, here we go. Salvaging and harvesting animations are off. Okay, no, they're so they're off by default. And I think uh, I just turned them on. So let's go ahead and turn them off. And the auto loot will be no. And scrap equipment auto outfit uh, disable. That's fine. Scrap equipment from corpses is enabled. Harvest corpses. This is all fine. I do believe. We'll see if that does it. I'm not sure if that's going to be what I want exactly or not. We'll have to find something, kill it, and try to harvest it, which requires, you know, a non-human target that we can harvest, but I guess we'll see. Hopefully that's uh, not required anymore. It'd be nice uh, to not have to watch so many progress bars. We'll see. I'm pretty sure that Zawano has addressed that, though. So, um, let me get a new save in here, since I am, in, I am on uh, version 1.9.1 now. I want to have a fresh new save, and that was a pretty easy install by the way just had to get rid of the old horizon drop in the new one made sure all the settings were correct how much time you got <laughs> yeah i have a few let me see a couple years back before i met clutch me and a couple friends found a young kid on the north side of the charles he wasn't that young probably around 18 or so anyway after hanging out with him for a while it started to get dark so i built a fire i kid you What are you doing? And knocks the match out of my hand. He knocked the match out of your hand? Why do you do that? Shh. Tell you a story. So, yeah, he knocks the match out of my hand. I was so surprised that I swung and broke his nose. He said he was sorry. And get this. He said he was afraid of fire. <laughs> he was afraid of fire? I just told you he was afraid of fire. You keep interrupting me, it's irritating. As soon as he told me that, I thought of something. I quickly apologized for hitting him and told him it's nothing to be ashamed of. That night, me and the others got this kid so drunk so fast, he passed out within an hour. We then dragged him to the banks of the Charles. We also dragged six or seven mattresses and tied them in a circle with one in the middle. Mattresses? What did you need the mattresses for? Really? Did you seriously just ask me that question? It's a goddamn story. All you have to do is listen. So yeah, we tied all these mattresses together, and then we placed one mattress in the middle and put the kid on it. We doused all the mattresses with gas, except his, and then lit them on fire and pushed them down into the water. We followed the burning mattresses down the river, laughing our asses off waiting for the kid to wake up. After five minutes, we realized the kid wasn't going to wake up. So we all started throwing rocks at him. After a couple of hits, the kid's awake. At this point, the flames were huge. <laughs> Imagine what it must have been like for him. Waking up, not knowing where he was, and all he sees is fire. The kid tries to stand up, but can't get his footing on the soggy mattress. At this point, I'm laughing so hard I fall down. That is crazy. And he overcame his fear of fire. Trial by fire? Nah, he never did. Turns out the kid couldn't swim. Anyway, that's that. Didn't see that coming. That's rough. Okay. <sighs> nice story, but time to die. <sighs> I'm gonna bet that's the turret that's giving us stealth detection. Is 
So this is Backstreet Perilous, where we're supposed to go to um, help out the settlers at Overland's dog meat. You didn't have to do that, you know? You, you could have just waited a second. You dummy. You ran... Oh. Now you're going to be whimpering the whole time. Okay, let's see if this thing, if it works now. Uh, okay, so... I'll make it nice and quick. No, that didn't, that didn't do it. That, that did not do it. So, okay, that was not the correct thing. Um, let me go back in here real quick. Let me try to find the right one until I get the right setting. That was under the field kit. So, can I turn harvesting off? How does that... If I turn off the salvaging, does that simply mean that I can't... I, I don't know. Look, I don't know how this, how this is going to work. I don't know if that means I can't... I simply can't uh, salvage them at all anymore. Does the loot just appear on them? Like, does it generate it before when they die instead of being a script that runs whenever I hit the salvage key, oh, or do I, I just here. miss out on loot? Like, that's that's the important question, right? Like, do I just miss out on loot by disabling the salvaging, or uh, am I making it so I don't have to do all that crap when and wait up, for it? Dead. Because that's the goal, right? Is to not have to wait for that stuff. No need to hide. It'll all be over soon. That brawler was tough. Shit! Lost him. There you are, you little bastard. <laughs> really? You shoot me through the thing? There's no way in hell I could shoot through that. Okay, I think we're clear up through here. I'll loot this in a second. Since we are in uh, close combat, let me check this, by the way. Somebody said I should be using third person... Keep your eyes open. I think this asshole's using a stealth board. The problem with doing third person, though, even if it is a faster animation, is that I won't hit as often on the head. Only a fucking coward hides. Open fire! You hear me? Yes, we got them before they use their healing thing, I think. Very nice. Pipe bomb. Got a magazine. Nice Why weapon. Don't you just die? Decent helmet, I'll take that instead of scrapping it. Ah oh, man, come back! I was having fun! So there's still a scrapping for the equipment, which I would expect, but I would expect uh, that would make sense because it still has to go through and scrap stuff. Nice stuff here. We are very low on bobby pins. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, level up. Very nice. Uh, yeah, I think we just are gonna scrap all this. What I need to check is, like, a corpse of a animal. I didn't mean to do that. That's the random... 
You just leveled up, so you must want to press the tab button to level up. You couldn't possibly want to press the tab button to look in your inventory or your pit boy. No, you must want to level up. The game knows better than you do, so we're going to take control and make you level up right now. Thankfully, I don't have to actually level up right now, but that really annoys me. Um, level 11. I don't know what I want. Probably science. No, I can't get rank 3 yet. Maybe chemist so I can make uh, easier... Rat away. That's been a problem. Probably what I'll do, but I mean, not necessarily right now. Okay, we got that stuff, we got that stuff. I was interrupted so rudely by the man shooting me in the back with his 9 mil or his 10 mil, whatever. Guess we can go ahead and use some first aid. I still haven't gotten used to, like, newspapers and stuff not being lootable. It's- it doesn't- it doesn't, like, bother me in any way that they're not lootable. But I don't know that it really... Pardon me. Like, really adds... I don't know. I get- I get the idea. I understand... What... Zauno was going for. Oh, uh, this thing's okay. It's medium speed, but I think I think it's worth having. I think it's worth using the slower weapons for the 28 swing speed or the for the 28 damage, just double damage. For I wouldn't say double the swing speed time, so I think it's worth. I think it's worth it. Okay, should be one more safe in here. I guess what I'm saying is I don't think that making... <coughs> God, I hope I don't cough this entire time. Hope, uh, I, I don't think that making uh, some things not lootable... No, oh, it's a Zawano mine. I can't disarm that. Okay. Now we made a mess of everything. It's just gone flying everywhere, and who knows where everything is. The funny thing is, like, they take so long to blow up, and in before, you know, we get frost mines in Horizon because I say this, but they take so long to blow up. Like, has anyone ever actually taken damage from one of the Horizon mines? Like, has anyone actually taken damage? Like, I don't... They... they you can walk away at a granny snail's face, nice. and you still are not likely to get hit by them. You almost have to try to get hit by one of those. There was some duct tape there I almost missed, a whole pack of it. Which makes you wonder, all that duct tape is only worth like uh, two or three adhesive, you know? Like what, what are you doing? with your guns that require that much adhesive. Like, are your mods just made of duct tape? Like, that's a lot of duct tape, I'm just saying. All right, I think we're done in here. So that should be everything then, yeah? That should be uh, what we gotta do to make the settlers at Overland happy. And then we'll have completed our first step along the Minutemen quest line. That's it. Make sure that's the case here. Yeah, report your success back. Okay. You know, other than the load screens on uh, fast traveling in Cyberpunk, are there any load screens at all in Cyberpunk? Like, aside from the occasional, like, story change, like, scene change type thing... If you're running around the open world, I'm pretty sure, like, it just... At least on PC. It just loads whenever it needs to, right? 
kind of crazy how far that's come compared to Fallout 4, which has to load for like every single freaking interior. There's one thing I'd like to see in uh, Starfield. It's going to be like no load screens or like very minimal. Oh, I missed this guy before. Okay. All right, it's pretty dark, and we gotta head back. This is the uh, ambush site for... Not the ambush, but the drug deal site for a quest later on. But nothing here of interest right now. Oh yeah, I could do some night sniping, I guess, over... Well, I mean, maybe. It's gonna be hard to see these guys. But if it's hard for them to see me, or hard for me to see them, it's probably hard for them to see me. It's a pretty good shot, being nighttime, you gotta admit. Ooh, a demolitionist, huh? Got him. Or I think we got the power armor guy. Got him too. Get out be from behind there. Oh, we're almost out. Oh, this is the uh, hunting rifle. I wanted to use this thing. Are you still gonna- are you gonna cower behind there? They love hiding behind this thing, don't they? Was he, like, pointing his gun straight up? That was weird. Shoot. I missed. I don't know what you were doing there. That was not a good spot for cover. I guess he didn't know where we were at, really. You'd think after that many shots that I'd figure out... Well, well okay, so all-in-one FPS fix does not, does not fix that. And neither does the uh, Horizon 1.9 update. Nope, we still got some weird texture issues over here. Well, they haven't caused me to crash yet, so... It's, uh, whatever, I guess. But yeah, we can stop over here and get this stuff while we're here, I suppose. Don't want this stuff to despawn on me. I don't know no, that will happen necessarily, but it could. That was a really nice little, uh... Taking those guys out. Let's get this radio turned off. Yes, I know there are mods that turn them off, but not all of them work properly. No, I said turn off. With the horizon and the radio setting does not actually turn off radios in game. It's the radio setting in the settings section is purely for your uh, Pip-Boy radio. Now, there is, or there was, around here, I thought, a mini-nuke. Um, yeah, there we go. Just kind of laying there in the trash pile. Just a random mini-nuke. Doesn't love those. Once we get um, the target highlighting thing, it's going to be like almost even better to, to hunt at night because... 
they'll be highlighted red against a black background. We can see it, see them very easily. But not for now. Yeah, pretty happy with that. Just used up some of our 357 ammo, which I am more than happy to part with in exchange for whatever stuff they have. Could even sleep here for the night. It's a decent bed. I'm not sure if this counts as, like, shelter. If we're going to get disease sleeping out here, we might. But that's a good bed. We could sleep for eight hours, at least, and get uh, well-rested. I might do that. That way we're not going all the way back to the settlement. Uh, let's see. Nothing I really need here. Hmm, some heavy leather and raider armor and metal stuff, too. Resistant bolts. Nice repeating bolter. Very good. Okay. Um, are any of these, like, worth taking? No, nah, I don't think so. Maybe the heavy stuff is... Maybe. We don't get that much from scrapping it, so, like... It doesn't matter that much, you know? Right, this guy had a bunch of stuff on him. He must have picked up everybody else's gear, looks like. I'm actually over encumbered. Aw. Totally ruined SMG. That can all go. Yes, very nice. He had a combat stim pack that he did not get to use. Pipe bomb. Ooh, nanofilament. What does this do? I don't know. It just, it's, yeah, it's an augment. It's cool. And um, we have some stealth skill there. And beer and the rest we can scrap. Cool. And we're over in Cumber, so we're going to have to talk to, uh, uh... What's his name? Wilson. Let's see what's in there. Okay, melee. Isn't that metalworking? Isn't Crush your enemies metalworking? I'm not sure. Alarm clock. Some caps. Another good stuff. Ooh, bobby pin's nice. Um... Can't do that quite yet. Okay, let's go ahead and get Wilson over here. Have him carry all of our stuff back. Move all of our stuff over. And these are all pretty good. I have some ammo for these. I could use them, actually. Oh, this is actually very nice. Um... I'll probably take the... Well, I think I have one that's heavy already. We'll take the reflex sight off of this, and then I could use that in mine. That'd be kind of nice. I can scrap this. Not sure why I have it. Uh, this thing... It's the same as ours, pretty much, so I don't really need it. I do have a lot of bolts, though, saved up, so that's good. Uh, the axe is... Is that actually better than our sledgehammer? Even though it's degraded? Uh, I think once we upgrade the axe... I'm going to take it back and check it out. Maybe not. Maybe it's all the same. This actually sells for a crap ton, so uh, we'll definitely sell that. And the rest of these, I think we're going to send these back as well. Need to take some time to compare and contrast these, see if any of them are worth using or selling or just salvage them. If nothing else, of course. And um, then we have some random 
armor here that I didn't know if I wanted to keep or not, so we'll just send it back for now. Uh, the food stuff, um, can probably, oh, we can send back the, the beer, I guess. Keep the wine on me in case I want to sell some stuff and want to get some money back from selling. And, uh, that should be it. That should be good. Here you go. So the... The, like, buff tats and stuff are now just random pill bottles. They're not necessarily... Huh, I didn't kill this dog. Okay, so, like... He didn't have... He didn't have any meat on him. Is it because... Could I not harvest him because I didn't kill him? Or could I not harvest him because I don't have harvesting turned on now? Like, because I didn't want... Look, I still want the meat off of them. Obviously, we need to get the meat and supplies off of them. Like, that that needs to be a thing. We need that stuff to survive. We need the food. Right? But... God, I'm down to one bobby pin. I'm gonna make some more. Yes. But, um... The, the goal was just to turn off the annoying animation. Right? That was the goal. Not to just, like, knock in any loot from it. Like, that's... That's not what we're going for here. Like, I just want them to drop that stuff on death, and I can just pretend that I spent five seconds smacking their dead body. And I can imagine those nice, wet slapping sounds that we all love so much. And not have to uh, do that. Eh, you know, we're just going to walk over to uh, Overland real quick. It's not that far away. Yeah, we'll just go down through here. I'm going to walk over there, guys. Uh, probably will be pretty uneventful. Okay, I lied. I lied. Get a bit of... Uh... There we go. Okay, just a random raider. What you smell, boy? Go get him. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, texture weirdness. Okay. Yep. And it's still here. Right? Like, it's still here. Or is it still here? I think it's still here. It's just not there. Like, I can't see it anymore. Uh, like, this is all... The ground is still here. The texture is just... gone. That's... That's bizarre, I'm not gonna lie. Yep, that's a weird one. We'll hope that's just, like, one spot that's happening in... I really don't know what's causing that. Um, I mean, I never had that issue before. It could well be an issue with one of the mods I have conflicting with Horizon. I'd say that's probably the case. One of the texture mods I have conflicting with Horizon, but I certainly don't want to remove all my nice texture mods. I don't want to, re want to remove uh, Horizon's texture mods either. They look really good. Though, if, um... One or the other had to go... Boy, that's a bit scary. I don't think the, the new, um... Helmet... The, uh, this thing, like, matters at all. I don't think it matters if you have a light on at all for stealth. It doesn't seem to really care.
Should let these guys keep going. I like that there's so much variety in the enemies now. Like, this guy's even a bit chubby. Look at him. Got that big old thick cake in the back there and a little bit of a pot belly. There he is. Okay, that's a very scary Mr. Gutsy. I do have explosives. This would be the time to use them. Maybe not the nuke grenade, but uh, certainly this thing. Please. I really thought that would have hit him. It did get him. Please don't explode on me. Where are you going? Are you gonna blow up? Okay, that works. This area clear. Proceeding with search protocol. Oh, we got him with a single shot with a sneak attack on the uh, the combat. Uh, what should we call it? Yeah. See, we just can't. We just can't harvest these at all. That doesn't really help me. Yeah. No. So. Yeah, get up so I can shove a needle in your ass and you'll be okay. Okay. Um, that doesn't really help me at all. Like, that's not what I want. I What I wanted was just to not have to deal with the salvaging animation, but that's not what that does. Like, that's... If there's a way to do it, like, uh, give me very specific instructions on how to, how to disable that, because that doesn't seem to be it. And if I can't salvage this guy now, I'll be very sad. No, I can. We're good. If you want the stuff, you have to actually go through this out animation. That's just all there is for it. And for these guys, it's very, very worth it. Like, I mean, got seven nuclear material and all that other good stuff. That was 100% worth the time. But, uh... For some, not so much. like the mole rats and stuff. I mean, obviously we still have to because we need the meat that we occasionally get from them, but it, it's a real pain in the butt. So where's the, um, where's the Protectron at then? Or not the Protectron, the, uh, where's the Mr. Gutsy? Is he an ash pile? Will I not be able to harvest him now? Can you not see ash piles highlighted? They not show up. Have we gone through here? I think we did. Um, and if they self-destruct, you don't have to get to um, harvest them anymore. That'd make me very sad because that was a big scary Mr. Gutsy. I mean, he was like coming at us like over here, wasn't he? Wasn't it like right over here? Hello, Ash Pile. Didn't like. Sometimes they'll be like in midair for no good reason as well. That could have been it. I. Where did he die at, though? This is why I have the highlighting mod thing on my helmet, because I can never find them, but I don't see them anywhere. Well, okay, I guess we're not finding that guy. At least we got the Protectron. That was nice, you know? I'm sure there's, like, an ash pile around here somewhere, and I know that, like, I probably just am not seeing it, and I apologize, but literally, uh, I've had some issues with my right eye, and it's still not better yet, and I literally only have about maybe 40% of my vision. 
in my right eye. So... It's difficult. It's tough to see things properly. Alright. Let's be on our way. Or, like, maybe you have to reload your game after you turn off the salvaging thing, or you have to go to a new cell. I don't know. I don't know, guys. There are many ifs, ands, or buts that could be associated with that particular setting, and it's possible, but I'm not going to sit here for 45 minutes to try every single possibility if it doesn't work on the initial time the way that I want it to work. Because it's equally possible that you were just wrong in the comments. <laughs> like the one person who said that. Uh, and that's not anything against you. I know you mean well. But sometimes people tell me things and they're just not true in any way, shape, or form. And they tell me them very confidently, too. And I don't think they're trolling. I think they're just mistaken. Keep forgetting, I don't need to turn this off. Oh, some muties, huh? Quite a few of them. Well, I don't know about the hitting like a rad roach thing. I kind of hit you pretty hard. Look, you're the one... Well, okay, I understand what you're saying. You're saying, why don't we just, you know, die? Why can't we just be food for you? I mean, that's... Should be pretty obvious. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Oh, crap. I'm, I'm using the wrong gun again. I wanted to use this thing. Okay, cool. It's a Kittlemajig. It's unfortunately uh, busted, though. So you can scrap these guns. Okay, that's interesting. It's just like instant now. There's no... This is better than mine. I can probably take it back. That's no better than what I have. Oh, we're not actually... Well, are we? I think we are scrapping things because we it got said seven items received. I don't know. That's how I would like the harvesting to work. Just bam, you're done. Stay out of that. And I'm okay with it taking some time to um, scrap the loot on enemies, like humanoids and stuff, right? Like, that makes sense, because you're scrapping stuff. Well, I mean, it still would be nice if it was instant, but I mean, whatever. It's, it's not like you have that many humans that you kill all the time. I think we just want to, yeah, follow the train tracks over here. I wanted to use my 
custom bolt action that uses the, the pistol ammo instead of the uh, hunting rifle. It uses up our 5.56 because I'd rather use the 5.56 for tougher close quarter combat situations. But yeah, so whatever, it's fine. We're going south. I'm supposed to be going north. This is the entirely wrong way. I'm going to wait to heal now, most likely, until we're... Uh, back and we sleep and stuff because then we'll get increased healing this is the route that you take when you're following dog meat over to uh, Fort Hagen or Fort Hagen however it's pronounced I think there are some there's like a little mini story here if you can find. There's one of the train cars has a door in it that you can get into. Oh, hello. I got my bolt back. Very nice. Unless it's a, it's a different little train encounter area. Maybe it is, I don't know. But anyway, I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Hey, there's a uh, broadcast station here. You can like turn these on and it should, uh, ooh, a guy we can harvest too. Turn these on and it should give you some more range on your pip boy that you can then use to see stuff from further away or you know hear signals from further away I think that's the idea with these gives you better range and then you can hear stuff from longer away I thought there might be some guys down there Lost him. There he is. He could not path to me. I know I can't get him out there, but whatever. I'm just, I'm just glad he's dead. You know. Okay. Uh, radio is what I wanted. Yeah, the distress signal. This is the one you have to find the lady or whatever. Uh, hope you uh, enjoyed that song. But... Okay. Doesn't really help all that much. We still get really no... Uh, no signal whatsoever on most of those places. That's fine. Some dead blood bug. Well... The dead blood bug we killed, and then some settlers or scavengers or something. E5 bolts, I'll take it. Whoa! Calm down. Okay, that's just gonna do that for now, I guess. That's fine. It's a twitcher. It's a twitcher, guys. Be careful. Oh, crap. Did they... Did they do okay, or did they... Uh, I, I didn't go up. It's such a long ways away. I want to go all the way up there. Well, whatever. I guess we'll see how bad it is whenever we get up there. I would have had to drop everything and, like, run up there immediately. Stupid settlers. I make 
defenses so you can defend yourselves somewhat. I didn't see what the message said, though. Maybe they were okay. Don't think there's anything down that boat. It's kind of a long walk to get down there, so I'm not going to really do it. Yeah, this is um, the partially underwater area with a bunch of ghouls. I'll come back here later. I'm not going to worry about it right now. It's, it's going to be like morning by the time we get back. I'll end up sleeping too late and uh, it'll be bad. Oh, I'm like, I, I didn't even mean to go across here, but I kind of did, didn't I? I just see stuff and I got to go and explore it, you know? What can I say? We're almost there, though. Like, that's literally uh, Oberlin Station, the new extended version of Oberlin Station, anyway. Is right there. Oh, yeah, there's this area, too. I'm going to go down here now before I forget some good stuff down here. It's all just free for the taking. I'm gonna have to buy Got some it. bobby pins whenever I go to a vendor again. Just haven't gotten very many, and they get used up for various stuff by uh, crafting, I guess. So yeah, I mean, kind of rare now. Maybe I just had really bad luck, but... Excuse me, dog meat. Can I not go down here? Yeah, there we go. That would be a... Well, it'd be impossible in power armor, but it'd be a tight... Okay. Discom like uncomfortable... Oh, that's right. There was a guy, like, working down here, and he got trapped in. Ooh, a good sledgehammer, like, working, no issues. Well, ours is two, though, but yeah, we can sell that. Cool. There's no corpse down here, though. Maybe maybe his friend got him out of here. Not taking rads, either. Usually you take some rads. Oh, okay, never mind. Spoke too soon. Yeah, I don't want you to stay here, dog. I mean, I just... Hey. Wait. Hold position. No, I want you to follow. Come on. There we go. Okay. I wasn't sure if he was going to bug out and stay there because I accidentally hit E while looking at him. Because he was in cat mode trying to run in front of me and distract me at every possible second. Wonder what our um, affliction is right now. What the issue is? Like why we have uh, in like we have? I don't think we have an infection, but must have gotten weakness or something else. Uh, over fatigue requires more sleep. Okay, can't we cure that with? Um, there's several ways. Yeah, rebound will work. That's fine. Okay, going this way. Yeah, we totally just played for the entire night. Well, whatever. It happens. Eventually, I'm just gonna, like, sleep for 24 hours straight to get our sleep schedule straightened out in-game. That way, we're not 
wasting too much time. But that also will mean that I'll be extremely thirsty when I wake up. I'm not worried about the food. I could cover the food without much issue, but uh, the thirst is going to be a real problem. To recover all that thirst. I guess I could uh, do some building or something during the day over here and then just sleep at night and try to get myself on a good sleep schedule again. I don't know. <coughs> Wake up, ladies. Your problems have been solved. You're now raider free, at least for the time being. You find those raiders? Yeah, I took care of them. No kidding. <laughs> That's the best piece of news we've had around here for a good long time. So we've been talking. We decided if you came through for us, we'd join up with the Minutemen again. If we want things to get better, we've got to start helping each other. So, we're in. You can count on us if you need help down the line. Thanks again, friend. All right. Those cigarettes. You don't need those. You can keep your candle and your random pots. I am going to scrap all of the uh, potatoes. These are a new object now called Wilted. Um, I'm assuming that's how it works for all of the various uh, pots, or not pots, the, the plants that come pre-planted. So say pre-potted, but that's not the right word either. They come pre-planted. And that means we can go in now and properly check out the interior. I don't know if I want to... We could leave this and they could just harvest it. Rock. Gives me some gravel. Eh, sure, why not? I could do a scrap all here, but I don't know. It might uh, scrap like turrets and stuff that would make things really easy for me, and that would be kind of cheating, I think. There's not that much here. It shouldn't take me too long to do this. Can I get rid of the rocks too? Why not? I know gravel is useful in crafting for certain things. Wood can be turned into compost. Some of it just straight up is compost, I guess, already, so that's very useful. Because compost gets turned into fertilizer in our workshop, and then can use that to fertilize crops and get more crops, and yeah, it's good stuff. Can't do this one, I guess. I guess we can't. Okay. This has been obviously extended quite a bit. You couldn't normally uh, go this far. But in Horizon, you get a lot more to play with in terms of how far you can... Or how, how big your settlements can be. Might leave that one rock. I like that one rock. We're gonna leave it. I don't know why. Just, just we're gonna leave it. Q. 
cannot scrap any of these for some reason. Maybe it caused problems before whenever he tried to add them in. Okay. We don't need that. That should be good. Honestly, that should be pretty much fine. There's some more stuff over here. Can we not scrap these? Was I not able to earlier? Or did I just forget them? Now we can scrap those. And these two, probably. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's scrap that scrub. That should be okay. And then we'll have... Oh, there's a whole bunch of vines I left dangling here that were on trees earlier. We can probably get those. Maybe? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Immersion restored. So, need to make some food and water and stuff here. I'll likely just use... the existing uh, rows here. I'm going to have to buy some melons, I think. Because I just haven't gotten any. Hardly at all. Maybe we'll have some on the next production cycle. I could do some corn. I could do some carrots. I can do some good old standard potatoes. Guess we can do two of those. Then we gotta do some... Can I make a... Uh... I can make a resource station. That's good. We can use this and then... Uh send our supply line up, so that's gonna be to where... Oh, uh, yeah, sunshine settings make sense, I guess. So let's go to sunshine... Or go, go, go to the managed local supply line, go to sunshine tidings, and there we go. We can access everything that they have, so now we can make some... Turrets. Not sure exactly where enemies spawn at, but uh, this is fine. Got the food, got that assigned to our settlers already. We got some water, but I'll do some more water as well. Want to keep our water and food production kind of even. Recruitment station as well. Yes, let's go ahead and do it. Uh, I'm going to put it on top of this thing just because it looks more... I don't know. It looks it looks, it looks, looks good. I like it like that. Auto dock medical chamber. But I think... I can make these actually pretty soon. Well, not really, because it requires workshop tech level 4. That's going to be more like workshop tech level level 8, because of how hard it is to make those upgrades now. So, yeah, maybe not. Um, I'll want to do a fast travel station. And I'll want some water. Some of these should be fine. I think we'll go right behind this thing here. And that would be... Yeah, do you want the pipe... The outflow pipe facing over there. And then we need some... Electric. We'll need a medium one at minimum for this. Can I not make a medium one? Am I short on oil? Yeah, I'm probably short on liquid fuel and oil. Uh, that's... Uh, it's a dog. Excuse me. What are you doing over here, dog? He vanished. It's a random, random dog. Okay. So I cannot do those. Um, you know, we've got plenty of, of circuitry. So I'm going to go with one of these for now. It's probably fine. 
This is not the ideal spot for this, but I'm lazy, so... Like, if I was going for maximum immersion and roleplay, I'd probably put it up on top of there, but, you know, it's fine. We're, we're gonna put it right there, because I'm lazy. Okay, and the rest of the stuff we're probably gonna build down in the, uh, this area here. And I'll be maybe scrapping some stuff, depending what we get from it. Though this is not really all that worth it. Like, just some random... But this thing will be worth it. Vehicle scrap, yep. I think I got, um... the turrets that were in here. <coughs> Pardon me again. Gonna get these out of here so we have room for uh, other stuff. These you cannot scrap, and that's fine. I probably would leave them anyway, just for just for a bit of immersion and role play. We're just gonna clean the place up a little bit here. Yeah, there's one of the turrets I killed. Yeah, I must have cleared everything out already. As far as the turrets go. This should be some good scrap. Nope, never mind, I lied. Power generator. We can't actually use this, unfortunately. It's not usable in any way, shape, or form, but uh, it looks cool. But oh well, we're gonna get rid of it. I'll leave the sinks for some immersion. I'll leave the table for some immersion. Could have left the chairs too, I guess, but eh, whatever. You do get a decent amount of basic circuitry in these places, which is nice. Yep, we're good in here too. Just making sure we don't have any turrets left I forgot about. Oh, I missed some caps over here. That's not caps. Glad I was out of the workshop mode before I approached that. Oh. Hello. Oh, you son of a bitch. Are we out of combat? Is that all of them? Because I'm going to have to use a poison antidote, and I don't want to have to use more than one. You son of a gun. I don't think I have any, actually. If I sleep, will it just like, go away? Or will I be poisoned in the morning and wake up dead? Look, if that happens, if I wake up and I'm just dead because I got poisoned, and I died from the poisoning, well, I guess it would be kind of immersive, but if that happens, uh, it, it doesn't count, okay? It doesn't count, guys. As a death, and the permadeath run. Because obviously I wouldn't have done it if I had known better. Not taking that much damage right now, but like it's not it's not nothing either, you know. Oh, 
Okay, is that... Is that everything? Close enough, anyway? I think so. There's the warehouse. There's a whole bunch of good stuff in the warehouse. I haven't... Okay, we're already not poisoned anymore. Uh, maybe... Maybe that was nerfed. Maybe Zawano nerfed it a bit in the, the latest patch because... Poison previously lasted like... I mean, it wasn't really 20 days, but it was... It felt like an eternity before. It was really bad. Not much in here. But there is the other one, and there's some stuff over here, too. I haven't gone up on top of here, either, I don't think, yet, so... Check that out. I have not gone in here. Turrets? Nope. Good. Some decent stuff, some appliance parts. Yeah, very nice. These are all like, you know, they have a chance for having good stuff in them, it looks like, which is kind of cool. Okay, and the big warehouse. Now, can I scrap this? Only gives me steel. I was hoping it would give me some liquid fuel. Since it's explodable, you know? Explosive, not explodable. You know what I meant. Place is dirty, though. Gotta get out my broom. Is it satisfying to watch someone scrapping this stuff? I'm curious. Because it is satisfying for me to do it. Like, I actually kind of enjoy it to some degree. I wouldn't want to do it constantly, right? But, like, in small doses. It's like, it's like the power washing videos, you know? Or the power washing game. Kind of satisfying. I will never get the uh, pimple popping videos, though. Those, uh, those just gross me out. But some people are really into that. Okay, I don't need to scrap every last little thing. Uh, just the debris that are in the way of, you know, me possibly making some stuff out here. This could be like a big workshop area where we just have a ton of settlers working on various projects. It, it'd be a pretty nice forward operating base if it wasn't so out of the way in terms of being very far uh, to the west in the map. I wonder if Zawano was like watching this and going Oh my god, all that hard work. I put all that debris in there. I placed it so specifically and so nicely, and now Wanderer just goes through and scraps it all. All that wonderful, immersive hard work. I'll leave some of it in here. But I want the center area to be pretty much clutter-free. That way I can 
So I have a whole bunch of um, work things here, you know, Horizon work, whatever they're called. Settler jobs, that's what I'm talking about. Settler jobs, we want settler jobs over here. Oh, okay, that's the mine. That really is a very large... Oh, thank God, I didn't crash. I'm gonna desync, but I didn't crash. What the hell happened? Why did my game tab out? That was bizarre. Okay. I don't know how or why my game tabbed out, but it did. That was strange. Give me that trash. There we go. of all these explodey things too that way we don't accidentally blow ourselves up at some time in the future whenever we're fighting raiders or something over here that'd be bad okay and these are concrete so i will be taking those we can use those for building stuff later on okay and the last thing i want to really get is uh this thing this is not a mine, right? No, it's just a bucket. Okay. These things give you a lot of good materials. I do really enjoy how he has done the uh, debris and stuff, like having the, the trash kind of gathered underneath of that that thing, that's pretty realistic. That's how it, pro it probably would have looked and happened. I didn't even check up here before, I don't think. Actually, scrap... Oh, it's clutter. It's not... Um, I can't scrap the actual structure. I saw the squares there for a second. I thought I could scrap the actual structure, but no, we can't. Okay, and that's, that's pretty much it. Oh, that didn't give me any oil. I thought it would give me some oil. That's why I scrapped it. All right, this should be good. Nothing else over here, right? Oh, there is some stuff over here. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, we do need the concrete, so I guess we're going to scrap that. And, uh... This thing's worth scrapping, too, for the cryofluid. And the rubber, too, sure. Aluminum is also very, very valuable for ammo crafting. Okay, good. Calling it good. I think we're good. I might do some more later on, but this is good enough for now. Got a car here. There's just all kinds of good stuff here, really. Another robot to scrap. What about in here? I got another robot in here? No, never mind. I thought I saw a robot in here. There's so much space here, there's no way I can really make use of all of it, so I won't go too nuts scrapping absolutely everything. Unless it has really good scrap in it, like that thing had vehicle scrap in it, so obviously we're gonna take that. These have concrete. We'll take those. This has a lot of good stuff in it. Is 
They're not happy here, though. I wonder, maybe I have to leave for a bit and come back. They'll be happy after that. I don't know. Okay, good enough. Let's call it good. This entire episode is going to be called Wanderer Scraps Things. They got power, they got food and water and defenses, and they have beds. I don't know. Yeah, they should be happy. I'll, I'll come back later. They'll be happy later, I'm sure. I could make some more beds, I guess, in one of these buildings over here real quick, since we're going to get more settlers eventually. I'd hope anyway. Maybe inside of, uh, yeah, over here is where I'd probably want to do it. This would be the most fortified area. Would make the most sense to have beds here. Where would you actually have the beds, though? Probably, like, further back in somewhere. Maybe back here would be good for beds. Sorry, table, you had to go. Trying to be somewhat immersive here, you know. Reasonable spacing. We have room for it here, so... And I think we'll certainly... That'll be plenty. This is going to be enough for everybody here. As is. Yeah, 16 beds, and we're going to have a maximum of 15. That's fine. Okay, you guys got room to grow. You got... Plenty of everything for now, so let's get out of here. Oh yeah, actually, we should sleep first. Well, you know what, guys? I'm probably going to fast travel back up and talk to Preston. Because turning in the quest is, is worth it, even though it's going to just send us on another quest immediately. Uh, it's worth turning in the quest and getting a new quest. So we'll talk to Preston, get the new quest, maybe come back fast travel back out here eventually um and then we can start maybe exploring into Cambridge next episode so we can talk to the Brotherhood and get their quest started and uh look through Cambridge a bit and then maybe if we have time uh go over to Arcjet and do Dance's quest before we get too high level and the synths become too scary over there but, uh, yeah, I'll probably just fast travel up here and sleep for, like, 24 hours off screen. I might just do that, literally, and then give myself a couple of water. That way, um, I'm not gonna be so dehydrated and not be able to make it up because I don't have enough water. Just because I want to get my character on a sleep schedule, um, a normal sleep schedule, where we're up at, like, 7 a.m. or so, and we have plenty of daylight for the entire day, and we're not staying up so late. And I don't want you guys to have to deal with the nighttime in the video. So I might make that small concession and give myself like two sanitized water just so I can make up the excess hydration I will lose by doing that. But anyways, that'll be next time. Thanks for watching, everyone. And I'll see you next time.